President Biden addressed the nation this afternoon and says he stands behind his decision to pull U.S. troops from Afghanistan. It comes as the Taliban gains control of much of the country. Crowds rushed Kabul's airport in hopes of fleeing. The president said there is never a good time to leave, but he admits the Taliban gained control faster than U.S. intelligence anticipated. Thousands of troops are now headed back to Afghanistan to help people evacuate. And joining us now to continue talking about these developments in Afghanistan is there you see him, Bill Muck. He's an international relations expert, political science professor at North Central College in Naperville. Nice to see you. Hello. Good to chat with you. Okay, I'm sure you heard the president's remarks. One of the things that he said that we mentioned here in our story, there was never a good time to withdraw from Afghanistan. What did you think of that comment? And give me some of your thoughts on some of his other remarks this afternoon. Yeah, President Biden really emphasized the national security interests of the country. He wasn't really talking about the humanitarian situation. He wasn't really talking much about uh, the impact this is going to have on women and girls. He was really talking about the nature of the threat uh, that the United States faced after 9-11 from, from Al-Qaeda, uh, and that that threat has has receded. And so it's time for the United States after 20 years to move on. So it was a very kind of cold and calculating, uh, pragmatic explanation for why the United States needed to move on. It was a hard conversation, uh, but I thought he did a nice job of at least putting that out there. Uh, you know, we were missing his voice over the last couple of days, so it was an important addition. Let's talk about how we got here, though. Uh, the Trump administration uh, negotiated a, a peace deal with the Taliban. I think at the time there were about 13,000 U.S. troops in Afghanistan. Uh, when that deal was done, when Biden took office, it was down to 2,500. Uh, so this, this withdrawal has been happening over the last few years. Absolutely. The Afghanistan war has is, is, is essentially become a game of hot potato. And we've seen presidential administration throw the one potato to the other. And Biden is the one who's stuck with it now. And, and he had to make a hard decision. Uh, the, the Trump administration had made a deal with the Taliban uh, where they wouldn't attack the United States as long as the United States agreed to be out by May. And so, so the Biden administration was essentially agreeing to that. So he had to decide whether he wanted to continue fighting the Taliban or move on. Right? It's, again, a very, very difficult situation. There's never an easy or elegant way to end a war. And I think that's what we're seeing right now. It's, it's messy, it's chaotic, and there are going to be political consequences to Biden for making this difficult decision. And I think you said it best. It's chaotic, and people are watching these images, and it's so heartbreaking for people to see that. So I think for many of them, they're wondering, okay, what sort of help, what kind of help can the U.S. now offer to the Afghan people? Well, the Biden administration has said that it's going to be diplomatic help. And we should be honest that that's different than having boots on the ground, than having a military presence there. So, so the situation in Afghanistan is likely to get much worse before it gets better. I, I'm, I'm truly worried for the people of Afghanistan. I, I'm worried about women's rights. These, these, these are going to deteriorate. The Taliban, while they are a bit more diplomatically savvy, their ideology is fundamentally no different than it was in 2001. Mm -hmm. They are still a very, very repressive regime. So I think the U.S.'s ability to, to the shape events on the ground is dramatically decreased uh, with the military pullout. Bill, we're looking at these heartbreaking images um, with um, people on the on the tarmac in Kabul chasing uh, after a U.S. Air Force transport plane, hoping uh, to get aboard. Uh, where do all these folks end up going? Because that in and of itself becomes a crisis. Absolutely. And this is one thing that Biden addressed briefly in his remarks, but really didn't get into the detail. He talked about a couple thousand Afghanis that are going to be brought out to the United States. But the reality is that there are many, many more who will be targets uh, by targeted by the Taliban. So so I think that's something the administration has to address in the coming days. What is the plan? How many individuals are we going to remove? How long will the U.S. troops be there to protect those individuals? Will allies be taking them? So absolutely, because if they're not protected, these are the individuals who will be targeted initially by the Taliban. So, so there really is the potential for a humanitarian uh, catastrophe there. And, and I hope the world and, and the Biden administration does what is necessary to protect them. All right. Thank you so much to Bill Muck for your insight. International relations expert also at North Central College in Naperville. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Up next here, an investigation is underway.